Today I want to show you one of my favorite origami models, the half crane. I like this one because it is fairly simple to fold. It's versatile and you can fold it on an attached piece of paper that's not, that isn't square. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Let's begin with a piece of lightweight paper that is 6 inches by 8 inches. This is just for demonstration purposes. You can use any size paper you like. I just want to begin with a piece big enough to make it easy to see the folds. Begin by folding the top left corner diagonally to the bottom edge of the paper. Make sure you line it up very carefully before you make the fold. And then once you've got it lined up, crease with your thumbnail or a bone folder if you have one. Next, leaving the triangle folded in place, we're going to take the bottom corner and fold up to the top right, folding that triangle in half. Again, line up this edge very carefully before you make the final fold. You can use the back of your nail or a bone folder to get a good crease. Lift the last fold about halfway up like this and then open up the triangle with your finger. Stick your finger all the way into the point here to open up the triangle. This is called a squash fold. And to make it neat, we're going to line up the center diagonal line with the line with the fold underneath and also the edges here and here will all line up. So once you've got all of that lined up, make these two folds here and here. Again, giving it a good crease with the back of your thumbnail. This is the part of the model that will become the half crane. Now, to continue with the crane, fold the bottom edge right here up to this diagonal line like this. And if you've done any kind of bird folds in origami before, you'll recognize this portion of the fold. Line up very carefully. Do not go over that center line. Once you have it where you want it, again, give it a good crease. And next, you're going to take this corner on the right side and you're going to fold again to that center diagonal. Leave a little bit of space for the thickness of the paper. So you don't want to get this right up against it or even overlap because you won't get a nice crease later on. So just lay it right beside the other fold, right beside the diagonal line, and give it a good crease. Okay, now we have this kite shape. Next, we need to crease along the top of this triangle on the kite. And to do that, you can just pull down, get it to the edge of those folds you just made, and just pinch across there. You do not need to pinch all the way across here, just right here, okay? Now, we're going to open this up, and you can see we've got fold lines for a triangle in here. To continue the bird fold, you want to lift up this top layer, and using this double-sided paper helps you to see because it's got two different colors. Lift it until you get to that crease we just made on the triangle, so to push that back. And then you want to reverse the two folds up on the top that we made before. And this will all just collapse into a large diamond shape. And see how there's a little bit of space here in the center? You want that. Because the next thing we're going to do is fold this whole pattern in half this way. And if those lines met up with each other, then it would overlap and it would get really thick. This way it just folds up really nicely. Okay, now maybe you can see that we're going to have a head up here and this will become the wing. So that's the next fold we're going to do is the wing. So take this bottom corner here and you're going to fold all the way back to, there's a center point where everything sort of comes together underneath. And you're going to pull that until you line up this edge with this edge of the paper. Line it up carefully again, as always. And then give a good crease right along here. And this part is pretty thick, so you may want to get something to press it down with. You, if you don't have a bone folder, you can always use a a wooden stick. Those work really well. And we are almost finished. Now we have a body and a wing. And to make this our head, just lift this up a little bit. And there's a couple ways you can do this. One way is you can fold this over 
and get the size head that you want and point the beak wherever you want it to go so you can point it up further or tuck it down. I tend to like it tucked down a little bit. And then unfold that and you're going to do an inside reverse fold to make that look. So you're, you're going to reverse, you're going to open this up and reverse this middle fold that's folded, mountain fold, and you're going to make it a valley fold like that. And then it will collapse. Usually when I do that fold, I just do it. I don't make the fold over first. But if you're new to this, you can fold it first. And there is your half crane. So you have a, a lovely crane on this side of the paper, but on the other side, all you can really see is the head and then the continuation of the paper. The really great thing about this crane is you have this extra paper over here. And that can be as long as you want. You could make this um, be pages in a book. You could make it be um, part of a card. There are lots and lots of, of interesting things you can do once you learn to fold this model. And that's something that I will demonstrate in my next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.